Hey guys, welcome back to another video. What's up, mate? Um, anyway, today I'm going to tell a story. Yeah. I guess. So, welcome, I guess. If you're new to seeing my videos, then hello. This is not my average video, but today, as you can see, we're at a location where a little bit about um me life all right my, my life all right so my opinions like i was born and raised in the united states you know i'm 16 now uh my opinions in the u.s like i'm not I haven't been all over the U.S., but I was born in the state of Indiana, but currently live in the state of Tennessee. But, um, I mean, the U.S., like my opinion, the U.S. does one thing good. It's like metric systems, not all whatever it's called that they use ain't too bad in the United States, but... Something that the U.S. does hold on is crime. Like, I, I, I'm gonna back that up because something happened to me in like March of 2022. That's might might be a, why you might see a gap in how long. Like, why it's been a month it's posted. Like, from March to May, something like that. Yeah, piece of crap. Oh, oh god. Um. Yeah, but I might be why you, you might see that. But um, also, the uh, United States does have terrible crime. I was in like Antioch, Tennessee, when that happened. And how do I spell Antioch again? I forgot. Thank God I ain't though. No. But, um, yeah. Pretty much. So, yeah, um, by the way, you can tell that I love making videos, yeah. When I was little, I always wanted to make videos when I. Uh, like a little bit older now, I'm like 16. Yeah. I used to watch like Dan, TDM, Stampy, like some like OG YouTubers, like that's been making videos when I was little. Back in 2014, 2015, 2016, stuff like that. You know, like that, pretty much. But, anyway, I love YouTube. YouTube's amazing. Honestly, I love YouTube. But, mm, uh, that's a nice call. That's based on the Dodge Charger, you know? Ah, nice. I never actually rode in a Dodge Charger, you know? My family would never like rich or anything. But, I know that calls. I call it's on point. It's pretty sweet. But anyways. So. Michael Vaughn was sort of. Me. A.K.A. John Maya. Had. A. Perfect life. That's what he means by. He's not as happy in real life. As what he is making videos. That was. Um, truthful. Some people might not think that by the sense of how happy I am in the game, unless they actually know me in real life. But anyways. Roblox though, I gotta say something. The people, like, if anybody from Roblox watching, like, any of my Roblox friends are watching, I mean you were cool, boy. Anyways. Oh, look at that call. Is that based on like the Ferrari? I could be wrong, but it looks pretty nice. Pretty sweet. And calls based on a Lamborghini. 
I actually never rode in those two calls either. Hmm. Is that based on the Lamborghini? Those two? Maybe. Um, yeah. But I also gotta say something. I will um tell my opinions on the loss. Quick guys, um so I'm going to do it but I'm I'm gonna do it in, in a secret location just in case we get ambushed. You know what I mean? Just in case we get ambushed. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so back. But this time in like it's like a different location pretty much. Anyway, what I was saying about us well, all that things weird, and well, actually, around like different countries, definitely the age loss. I mean, there's a lot of other dumb laws. I'll admit a lot of other dumb laws, but age laws. So let me talk about it. um. For number one, age law. Like, do you really have to just be 18 for everything you do? I mean. That seems kind of controversial, especially to people that actually notices that and looks at it. And in my opinion, I'm like, dude, that's discriminative. No trouble, it's okay, mate. Put that away. I travel got a little bit angry for a second, as you can tell. But anyway, um, yeah. Discriminative age laws. Like, let, like hey, 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 let me just say something. So you know how, like, you have to be at least 18 in the United States to buy a lottery ticket? Bruh, are you for real? I'm sure even, like, a three-year-old would know how to buy something. You have to, so only an 18-year-old would know how to buy a lottery ticket? Somebody 18 and up? That seems a little strange. I mean... Really? Also, um, hmm, what's, what's another dumb one? In my opinion, like, some kids that's, like, young, like, under 18, some of them could do stuff for, like, like, it's a good thing. I'm trying to compliment a little kids, mate. Like, they could, like, maybe, I uh, like, I think it should be, like, the ch a kid's choice if they want to live on the way. I mean, if they're smart enough to do it, I mean, if they're smart enough to do it, good for you. You're very smart. And smart enough to get jobs and stuff. Yeah. Like, I know that even, like, some 40 roads and 40 roads couldn't get a job or like wouldn't know how I do it wouldn't be the best at it so what could be any worse than like I mean what could be any worse about a, like a 9 year old or a 14 year old or even a 17 year old or 16 year old trying to walk huh I mean like what yeah I'm just thinking, what is all this mess? Oh yeah, I'm going by the United States. Oh yeah, it'd probably be like a lot easier for like kids in Canada to know how to live on their own because, let's be honest, Canada's probably a lot safer than the United States. I mean, U.S. is not the safest country. Yeah, like you can tell by the news, and you can tell by how much people got hurt sometime in their life in the United States. Anyway, there are some good things about the U.S. There are some bad things too, like very, 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 very expensive prices in the United States. versus cheaper prices in some other places. I know some other countries are expensive like the U.S., but... Some are a lot cheaper than the U.S. It's crazy how it works. I mean, for real. I 
I mean, like, what about Starbucks and some good things in the U.S.? I mean, it's good that it's, it's not as violent as, like, some countries, like, let's say, um, let me think of one real quick. Maybe Iran? I don't know. Iran's got a pretty violent government. I mean, that's I mean, good. One good thing about the U.S. that ain't as violent. I'm so sorry for you Iranian people out there. I wish you the best, mates. Remember, we are like you, mates. No matter what, right? Anyways. Mm. Oh. Look at that. Um. Also, hmm. Let me think of something else that I feel what I said. Hmm. Mm. One good thing about the U.S. is it's pretty diverse in the like, landscape, like the landscape. I mean, if everything was the same, it would be like, I'm bored real fast. By the way, I ought to get <laughs> bored real fast, and a lot of people probably do. I mean, well, I was talking about like young wage laws. I was talking about like seven and up. I mean, you can like. The government could try, like, giving a two-year-old, like, like, I guess, like, right, it'd be a cop, but, I mean, please, please, stop the criminals, and stop the armed and dangerous ones before any of that happens, stop them, right? Oh yeah, and a two-year-old, what would a two-year-old do, um, maybe bite the crap out of the criminal, I don't know. Grab him, bite him, and go like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know. Actually, that might not be the best idea. The two year old is still a toddler. I mean, they're cute. Yeah. Mm. What else? Um. Oh, my goodness. So much, so much things. Oh yeah, um, so the United States, like, like, well, I think New York City deals with the homeless crisis better than, like, Austin, Nashville, Atlanta, Los Angeles, Miami, and so much other place. Because in New York City, it's more shelter-like. In New York City, they put the homeless people on the shelter. Well, please forgive me if I'm wrong. But, I've seen things that it was different in New York City. I don't know if it is in New York City. Good job for doing what's it different. I've been in Nashville before. And, I mean, it's so sad to think about, like, homeless people can't afford housing because housing is so expensive. And healthcare is so expensive in the United States, it makes it harder for them. So, shame on whoever decided that. Like home, I meant that and healthcare. Shame on whoever decided like the healthcare situation in the United States. Oh yeah, homeless people, we all like you. Please stay strong and hanging and alright. Anyway, but for real though. Anyway, I'm gonna get back in the car. But thanks for watching the video. I'm gonna keep going. Bye guys, have a nice night.